I have three degrees. I have an Associate's of Science in Business Administration, Associate's of Arts and Education, and a Bachelor's of Science in Primary Education. And I'm not utilizing none of that. This community is still in need. We have elected officials. They don't stay in the community that they are over. Everything I do for my community, I do it because it needs to be done. I was raised inside of a single parent home, just my mom. Well, this right here is the world's famous greenhouse. You know, when you look, when you look here, you know what wet hands would do to you grabbing a socket like this? You know what I'm saying? It's the worst pain you can imagine. D d this right here is good food. This right here is good food, man, yeah. Nothing fancy about it. It's simple, it's basic, but it's home. Growing up, he was very energetic, and he, at a kid, underestimated his own strength. You could tell we were truly from Piran, because we fought. We fought. Uh, uh, we settled everything with a fight. It helped us realize a lot about each other, and believe it or not, it helped us bond, because we began to understand each other's temperament. I wanted to run the streets. I wanted to do the things that was deemed cool, but I knew for a fact that if I got into any type of trouble, no one was coming to get me. You know, I learned that a lot of individuals have problems, but not everybody have problem-solving skills. So from a young boy, I was always solving individuals' problems, you know? We began to see that not everybody in the new school, the new generations, were willing to handle things how we handled it back then. And as a result, they didn't get a chance to grow past their, their differences like we did. I was actually riding a bike. I was riding on the sidewalk like a normal human being, and this guy just approaches me and cuts me off, and he shoots me. He actually shot twice. I got shot twice inside my left arm. We have a lot of gangs over here and a lot of different beasts and stuff like that. And I mean, coming from where we come from, you got people right down the street that's banging different blocks and beefing with each other, and they're not even a block apart. The main thing I be looking at is, hey, stop the violence. That's right. Yeah. They, they, you know, half from 18, 19, <coughs> they just start living. That's Why are they right. killing up each other for? Mm -hmm. I yeah. think it should be a better way. You could take a common criminal, right? If you give them outlets to do other things, they're going to at least consider it. If they had options, they will explore those they options. So what we had to do was devise a system. You know what? Let's go on and bring it to neutral grounds. Bring it to us. We're going to compensate you for it. It's going to be entertainment for everybody. Everybody want to see how this conflict is going to be resolved. And you know what? It's going to be done without guns. I was introduced to Dada 5000 by uh, some journalists from the Miami New Times who were working on a cover story about Dada and the, uh, the backyard. I knew that there was a compelling backstory with the, the fact that Kimbo Slice was the godfather of this game. And Dada then saying, well, I'm going to organize that. I'm not just going to make it these isolated events. I'm going to become the Don King of the backyards, and I'm actually going to turn this into a, a platform for fighters to literally try to fight their way out of this neighborhood for a better life for themselves and their families. Well, you know, I grew up watching Piran fights. It's always something I always wanted to do. Dada, it's like a father I never had. He gave me my dream, a good opportunity. You feel me? Take me out the hood. You know, a little boy quit to go grab. A, a pistol, you know, but uh, I'm not on that, you know what I'm saying? So God gave me a blessing to use my hands, so I use my hands, so that's what I'm gonna do, you know? This right here is a straight hands bout. This fight will end in one of three ways, by knockout, by referee stoppage, right? Or by somebody giving up. Smoke Dog, any questions? Yeah. P Money, any questions? Let's get it. Whoa, 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 break, 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 
Let's go. Can't do it, bro. You can't. Show him some love, man. Fuck it. Come on, man. This shit hurt, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, get up, baby. Don't, don't lay down, don't lay down, don't lay down. Come on. You see right here? Let him see it, dog. Where he was shot, you know, a while ago. But all heart, he didn't want to miss this opportunity for nothing in the world. This right here is how much a shot at, a shot at glory, you know what I'm saying, means to these guys. You know what I'm saying? I respect you, dog, because at the end of the day, nigga, you came out here. You know, we'll set it up another time, man. Win or lose, when this fight is over, Dada's coming home. That's why you call it home. It's where you go after you're done with other shit. Dada at least creates another avenue uh, for young people in, in, in this community to say, I have a chance. I can use the gifts and the skills that God gave me to try and accomplish something, to try to make a better life for myself and my family. That little greenhouse that we grew up in, we call it the greenhouse effect because that house that we hated so much <laughs> coming up has now impacted so many lives. As bad as we thought things were then, you know, we look back nowadays and we, we, we sit back and we actually smile and say, wow, those were the good old days. And it lets us know that these are the good old days of tomorrow. Things are gonna get worse, so you have to do what you need to do to help go along and better your community. The difference is a lot of, you know, certain people, they made it out and they never came back. Making it out is not a bad thing. Not coming back, turning your back on the community, you know what I'm saying, that you know is still in need. We can, you know, do great things, and we can, you know what I'm saying, be looked at as a place of peace. I'm quite sure he made enough money to live somewhere else, but he preferred to live, to live here. That's right. If you go to 10421 Southwest 179 Street and you knock on the door loud enough and hard enough, Dada 5000 just may answer. When you wake up in the morning, you come by here and, and stop that it's truck right over there. there. Yeah. Here inside the community, it's a lot of work that needs to be done, you know? And many can help one. One can't help many. But I'll do whatever I can, you know what I'm saying, to save the kids. I'm 79 years old. But I know Doug on what he's doing something to help the community because I see what he's doing since I moved him. I know everything he's doing. And I hope he keep doing it until it get better and better. Yeah. That's what I hope. I just want to, you know, do great things. You know, and I want my mom to be proud.